Okay, I'm filming this as the sun goes down and I don't have a ring light or anything, so I apologize in advance if the lighting starts to change or anything like that. But welcome back everyone. Today I'm filming a college-related video. I went on my Instagram and I asked what questions you guys had about TCU and living in Fort Worth and just college in general, so I actually got quite a lot of questions. I did not realize this when I posted this story, but a few of you guys swiped up and said that TCU decisions came out today, so that's exciting and really good timing. I don't think that's all of the decisions. No, it's definitely not. That must have been early decisions decision or early action, whatever that's called, because I'm pretty sure I found out in February or March, but it is good timing and you guys had a lot of questions about TCU. If you guys are new here, I am a junior at TCU and I transferred after my freshman year of college, but if I don't answer your question, feel free to comment down below and I will answer it there. And yeah, let's just get into it. What is up, y'all? First question, I'll start off pretty vague, is what's your favorite part about being a student at TCU? Probably should have looked at these questions better and, and I should have come up with well thought out answers, but you know what, this will be candid. So my favorite part about being a student at TCU, this sounds kind of like cliche, cheesy, I don't know, but I really think it's just like how much everyone cares. I feel like it's a really like motivating community where people want to go to class. I mean, for the most part, especially with COVID, it's a little different with online, but when you're on campus, you kind of just get this feel where, like, where people want to be there, people want to go to class, you have professors that want to help you, like it's just a community really cares. I don't know how to say that without like being too cheesy, but yeah. It's also hard because I'm trying to like answer these questions from pre-COVID when we were actually on campus, but yeah, I just really love the TCU community. I feel like everyone's really involved and it kind of like inspires you to want to do better. Are the students at TCU nice? In my experience, yes. I was telling my mom that the people I found at TCU, I'm just like, I do not know how I got so lucky. I just love all my friends. It definitely depends on who you surround yourself with, but everyone I've met is very nice. Um, does a distance from home make you homesick. Uh, you can ask my roommates. There's definitely a lot of times where I'm like, oh, I just want to go home. Like after a hard day, sometimes I wish I could just like sleep in my bed at home or I definitely miss my family and my parents a lot, but I don't think I'm ever like homesick. Like there's definitely moments where I miss home and I miss my parents, but there's never like long periods of time where I'm like, I'm so homesick. Like I need to go home right now. Like right now I'm home and I'm missing TCU if that says anything. Like I genuinely love living in Fort Worth and going there. Like I feel like also Fort Worth has started to become like more and more like my actual home. That sounds really cheesy again but yeah also I'm really sorry my dogs just keep barking and I tried to film on my camera with a microphone to blur out the barking but it died um do most girls rush at TCU the majority of people are involved in Greek life it certainly does not mean everyone and if you do not want to rush that is like totally fine but I remember when I toured TCU they said something like 49% of people were involved with Greek life but once you get on campus it definitely feels like a lot more people are you don't have to be in a sorority to get like invited to anything or anything like that anyone's included does Fort Worth feel like a big city or a smaller town okay so TCU is pretty much like right next to down Downtown. Like TCU is on University Drive and if you just keep going down University, you'll get to West 7th Which is like a really poppin downtown area. If you just go a little bit further, that's like prime downtown I don't know how to explain it But it's really close to downtown and then the, and then the area that's directly surrounding TCU is a little bit more college -y. Like if there's some coffee shops and restaurants But then there's also suburban areas all around because Fort Worth is also very suburban So I never feel like I'm in a big city yet I can get the cool downtown perks if I want to like there's a bunch of cool restaurant bars coffee shops all like you can get all of that while still feeling homey because you'll drive through all the suburban area parts and all the homes so i don't know i feel like it's a perfect mix in my opinion it's exactly what i'm looking for because i don't know if i do great living in a big big city and i don't know if i'd love living in a tiny college town so for me it's the perfect mix hopefully i explained that good is tcu a big party school and do you feel it's possible to have fun at tcu without parties there's a really big bar scene at tcu a bunch of people go downtown but as for parties um freshman year fraternities and sororities will have like date nights where a fraternity and sorority will, will pair up and have like a themed party so I'll have a lot of those like there's definitely still house parties and stuff like that going on at TCU but for the most part it's more of like a bar scene and he also asked if you can have fun at TCU without parties and a hundred percent yes how I explain it is if you want to go out Thursday Friday Saturday you can and there's gonna be something for you to do you're not gonna be bored but if you don't want to go out there's also still so much you can do people hang out in their dorms TCU also has like so many different weekend events on campus like concerts I feel like you'll never be bored so you definitely do not need to go out to parties and bars to have fun. All 
so again, let me clarify, I'm answering these all from pre-COVID days because I feel like that's not fair to answer how TCU is based off this last semester. If you want to party, you'll be fine. If you don't want to party, you will be fine. Was the transition from California to Texas hard? Okay, when I first got to Texas, yes. The weather was honestly really hard to adjust to. I came from California where I'm more inland. It's not like I live right next to the beach, but it's dry heat here. And then I went to Texas where it was just like so humid when I first got there. It must have been like a really rough summer because Texas mid-August is not the most enjoyable. So yeah, the weather was just a small little thing that took me some getting used to because I definitely did not think that that would be a hard thing to adjust to. But besides that, I also just have like a really hard time adjusting, but I think allowing yourself time and reminding yourself that it's not gonna be perfect right away just helps so, so much because starting a new chapter is really, really hard. I obviously focus and highlight the good parts of my like transition to TCU and all that stuff, but that does not mean that it was like a perfect transition, like so smooth and all of that. It was definitely hard and I definitely felt alone a lot, but I just knew that I was where I wanted to be. So that kind of helped it. And I also just got really comfortable spending time by myself. I think freshman year I was kind of go, going through a harder time and I didn't want to be by myself. I wanted to distract myself but my first year transitioning to TCU I just kind of gave myself more time and I was like okay it's gonna take a little bit of time to adjust here. I know that it's not gonna be perfect right away. Like there's a lot of different stuff being thrown at me right away like a new state, new friends, new classes, school, all of that. Give yourself time and remind yourself that it's not gonna be perfect right away. Okay my phone died and that's where I have all the questions but I'm gonna try to think of the questions I saw before it died. Someone also asked if it's expensive to live in Fort Worth and honestly Honestly, like, yes, that's something that kind of surprised me about going to school in Texas. I thought that going from California to Texas, it might have been, like, cheaper. I, you can definitely go to TCU on a budget, and there's, like, you do not have to live in Fort Worth and live some luxurious lifestyle. I feel like a lot of people, when they are bored, they go out to eat, so there's a lot of money spent there, and I shop a lot. There's just a lot of really cute boutiques in Fort Worth, so it's easy to spend money, but very manageable to do on a budget as well. All, all of that I pay for myself, so I obviously think that it adds up a lot. I also have a little obsession to Target so someone also asked about the rent in Fort Worth what it's like to live off campus so freshman and sophomore year you're required to live on campus which I absolutely love I have no complaints about that but off campus again I thought that it was gonna be so cheap compared to California paying rent because my brothers go to Boise State and rent there is like 300 400 a month but houses in the surrounding area of TCU I'm not gonna lie are pretty expensive for rent I think it's just because they know that these college kids want to live next to campus I'm just gonna say a ballpark for rent in the direct area surrounding TCU can be like 700 to 11 1100 a month, which is not cheap and I feel like that's important to know because if you're going to college somewhere You're obviously gonna have to find a place to live when you're an upperclassman Someone also asked about the dorms and I need to look it up on my computer because I did not live in the dorms Obviously because I didn't go here my freshman year I lived in the sophomore year dorms and I feel like that's unfair for me to say because I lived in one that was brand new But I absolutely loved it, but I know that the freshman dorms are actually pretty nice I mean no dorm is gonna be like luxury and perfect and there's probably some dorms that are nicer than the others Okay, yeah, I got my computer because I wanted to look this up, but TCU is a among the nation's top four for best college dorms. So there you go. You won't really go wrong with them. Okay, my phone finally turned on and, I, and someone asked about financial aid, if it's common for people to receive scholarships and financial aid. And yes, 100%. I forget the exact percentage. I'll put it here. But I think something like 60% of students are on some type of financial aid or scholarship. TCU is such an expensive school and I am very aware of that. that that's the main reason why I transferred. I didn't receive that much scholarship money when I applied my senior year of high school. And then I ended up transferring and they really help you out. They merit scholarships based off like your um, involvement in GPA. They also have have grants that they give out if your family needs it. There are just a bunch of different options that can help you pay for TCU. So if price is one of the main things that's kind of pushing you away from going there, I totally understand. I really recommend contacting financial aid and seeing what they can do if there's anything that they can help you out with. Um, is Greek life at TCU expensive? Someone else asked, asked how much dues are. So again, I don't know if I've said this, but I pay for my own sorority dues. That's not to be like a flex but that's just to show I definitely know the cost of it and I'd say on average I can't speak on behalf of every sorority but I'd say they range from like 400 to 600 a semester it's definitely not cheap but again there are scholarships that they have like TC Panhellenic as a whole has, has scholarships you can apply for individual sorority has scholarships you can apply for your first semester it's gonna be the most expensive because you have to pay new member fees you can go on the TC Panhellenic website and find out how much each sorority's dues are it might be a ballpark estimate but that's definitely out there if you want to figure out specific ones sorry 
it. I'm plugging my phone in. Okay, someone asked, are the majority of people at TCU Christian? I'm looking for a good Christian college community. And on tours, I know that they'll always say, like, it's TCU. You can make the C as small or big as you want it to be. And there are a lot of students on campus that are involved in a church or some type of Christian organization on campus. If you don't want to join a church or if you don't want to be involved with that, that is totally fine. Like, it's not a requirement. But I actually went on a mission trip with my church in March right before COVID got bad. It was, like, literally the week that we got sent home from school. And I found a really, really good community. So that is definitely there if you are looking for one. I go to Christ Chapel College and it's amazing. If you have more questions about my church or anything like that, feel free to DM me because I would love to talk to you about it. Okay, I feel like I answered a lot of questions and I have no idea how long this video is going to be. But again, if I did not answer your question, please comment it down below because I would love to talk to you guys there. And, and yeah, my answers can just be down there to help you guys all out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out. I know that TC decisions are starting to come in and that's really exciting times. And if TC is not where you end up, it all happens for a reason. Like you're going to end up where you're supposed to be. Again, follow me on Instagram so you guys can ask me questions for the next time I do something like this and so I can talk to y'all. But yeah, that is all. I love you all so, so much. If you're still watching, thank you for sticking along this far. And I will see you guys in my next video.